going to talk about MMA and pro wrestling. And something that inspired it was a quote from a Robin Thicke interview when he talked about at the BET Awards hip hop and how hip hop was one of his, his favorite genres as a kid growing up. And he made a comment or a quote where he said that hip hop was this the world leader in artistic expression and that hip hop has everyone wanting to dress, act, emulate and be a part of it and that there's no actor, there's no public figure that has them doing that or of a music style and he had a point there and when I thought more and more about it I can almost see and apply that very same thing to pro wrestling and MMA and Al Snow did a shoot interview and it's probably on YouTube, there's a preview of it and he made a comment about what does it mean to be over that the people want to be just like you and he gave a great example where he said how many people wanted to be Mr. T in the 80s, how many people wanted to be Arnold Schwarzenegger, how many people wanted to be this person because they were cool and they you know they wanted to be just like them and I think about society today and how many girls have I seen black and mixed race in particular who are either going for the Nicki Minaj look or the Rihanna look and that to me tells me that they are over and in pro wrestling right now there isn't anyone that's doing that and who's the world leader in pro wrestling right now the WWE and who's the most pushed guy in the WWE? John Cena. And I find that one of... There, I mean, there are so many reasons why that character is, you know... But I find that the image of John Cena in particular is a, an important part and a crucial aspect that's been overlooked. The only time I've looked at Cena and said, wow, he looks cool, is when he was actually doing the hip-hop gimmick. And he had the... the the throwback jerseys and the basketball jerseys and I thought that was actually really cool as years have gone forward he looks like to me an oversized bottle of Heinz ketchup in that current red t-shirt and that horrible bright purple t-shirt that he wore before and the orange one and to be honest with you he looks like he should be on the box of Coco Pops with the Coco Pops monkey because he looks like him now he just looks ridiculous and to me I find image is something that's overlooked and image is part of what draws people in and gravitates them towards you. When the people don't just like you but want to be you, that's something right there. And you look at some of the most popular wrestlers and some of the most popular people in the world and you'll notice that a lot of people don't just like them and it's not just about loving them but they also want to be like them. And I don't find that anyone wants to really be like Cena. And that's not me knocking him personally. That's me saying the image needs to be reworked. And there are so many people in the WWE that could do with an image reworking and in pro wrestling as a whole. Wrestling isn't cool anymore. How many times have we heard that? And I find that if you want to make wrestling cool, it's not just about the wrestling man and doing 800 suplexes and chopping the guy and kicking him repeatedly hard in the face like Roderick Strong does. It's not just about all of that, because that's great, and you do need that. You do need to have great matches. But the image, the presentation, the package, being a world leader, being a trendsetter, being ahead of everything else, so that when people watch you, they say, oh, wow, that's different, and I really want to be like that, and people want to copy you. What's that saying? Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. No one wants to imitate or emulate pro wrestling anymore or as much as they did, you know, back in the late 90s. And then you compare that and pro wrestling's image and its uncool image right now. And you look at what's cool right now, MMA. And I find that the presentation of MMA, the packaging and the marketing of MMA, MMA is so far ahead of what we have in wrestling right now that... I find people are going to gravitate towards it. And then you look at the individuals in MMA and the guys that that are the big stars and the guys that are catching on right now in MMA. St. Pierre is one of the biggest stars in MMA. How many people want to be like him? How many people not just like him and love him, but, you know, kind of copy his look? And his look is important to the St. Pierre package. Yeah, he's this pretty boy that all the girls want to give one to, but 
he looks cool and he looks like someone that you'd see out in one of these, you know, expensive nightclubs. And that probably is part of what gravitates people towards him. You look at other guys in MMA, you look at like a Quinton Jackson or a Rashad Evans or a John Jones, and you look at how they dress and how their image is, it's, it's far above and lightning years above anything that we've got in pro wrestling. You tell me this, who looks a lot cooler? A Quinton Jackson, a John Jones, a Rashad Evans, or a John's Heinz Tomato Ketchup t-shirt wearing Cena? Who do you gravitate more towards? You gravitate towards the guy that looks cool. You gravitate you gravitate towards the guy that gets your attention in, in the way he looks and dresses and I mean I'm not just it's a different way of looking at things right it's not me talking about the in-ring action or the promos but it's me talking about something that I feel people overlook anyways I'm rambling on a lot as I always do and it's very late I want to know what everybody out there thinks about it um, all the subscribers, anyone that just happens to pass on this video, what do you think about image in wrestling or in MMA? And give some examples, anything that you want to say, type it in. If you want to do a video response, let me know and I'll, I'll, you know, I'll put it right up. And by the way, anyone that's watching this, please have a look at Mixed Martial Artists channel. This is a guy that kind of just discovered about a week ago very very good youtube video maker has a different slant on things and i think that's what makes his shit stand out so guys check him out and don't forget to quote and comment gonna do another video in a few minutes so take care and i will see you all very soon